Welcome to Electro Online. You will notice that this is the exact same problem as we did on the previous video, but now we're going to do it using the total mass and the center of mass of the water in the trough. So here we're not going to use calculus to solve the problem. And the reason why we also want to know how to do it this way is, let's say you're taking a test, you have to find the work done to empty a tank like this, and you work through the problem on the test using calculus, because you're supposed to use calculus, and then you wonder if you got it right. Well, this is how you can easily check. The same answer can be found, and notice I wrote down the answer from the previous video, it was 4,900 joules to empty this trough, which is 4 meters long, 0.866 meters high, 1 meter on each side because the cross-sectional area is an equilateral triangle. So what we can do is find the center of mass of the water in the tank, and since the cross-sectional area is a triangle, you know that the center mass will be one-third the distance from the base of the triangle to the height. Of course, it's upside down, so it'll be one-third down this way. There will be the center of mass right here, and it'll be one-third the distance from the top to the bottom, which is the height, which is 0.866, so this will be one-third 0.866. Now we need to find the total volume and therefore the total mass. After all, what we're after here is that the work done to lift all the water out of the tank is going to be equal to the potential energy gained by all of the water, which is equal to, let's see here, that would be the mass times acceleration due to gravity times the height gained, the average height, or I shouldn't say the average height, but I should say the height by the center of mass, so h center of mass, which is what we're looking for here, that'd be one-third the total height. We need to find the mass. We know that density is equal to the ratio of the mass to the volume, so therefore the mass is equal to the density times the volume, and in this case the mass will be equal to the density times the volume of this trough will be the area of the base times the, times the length, the height, or in this case the length, so the area of the base would be the area of the triangle, so that would be equal to, oop, don't have to put an equal sign, volume will be one half the base, which is one, times the height, 0 0.866, times the length, four. So the volume of this trough is one half the base times the height, which is the cross-section area of the triangle, times the length of that trough, which is in this case the height. And so that multiplied times the density gives us the mass of the trough, which can go in here. So this becomes the density times one half times one times 0 0.866. So it'd be half the base times the height times the length of the trough four times g times h to the center mass. It's one third distance from there to there. So it'd be one third times 0 0.866. All right, remembering that the density is 1,000 uh, kilograms per cubic meter, so we'll write in 1,000 times 1 half times 1 times 0 0.866 times 4 times g, which is 9.8, times 1 third, and times 0 0.866. And of course, we remember that 0 0.866 times 0 0.866 is actually 0 0.75. All right. So 1,000 times 1 half times 0.866 squared, that would be times 0 0.75 times 4 times 9.8 and divide by 3 equals, and sure enough, we get the exact same 4,900 joules, so to see if your answer was correct, anytime you use calculus, what you do is you find the center mass, you then multiply the distance from the top to the center mass, times acceleration due to gravity, times the mass of the water in here, the mass simply would be the density times the volume, and the volume of a trough, of course, is a triangular, it's the base, half, one half the base times the height times the length for the volume, Multiply everything together, and you should get the exact same answer. It's a really good and quick way to check to see if your answer is correct if you do it on a test. And that's how it's done.